time for another Tromp video. Now, if at some point during this lecture you hear the beep beep of an oven, ooh, that means the pizza's ready to go in. This one's going to be brought to you by uh, California Pizza Kitchen. I'm just saying, you, you, you got a great frozen pizza. I'm, I'm just, I, I, I love to get credit where credit's due. So we have our Trumpowski C5. And this is one of the few times, bishop takes f6 is a playable move, but I will say, after, after analysis, um, I love the themes a lot better with d5. And this is going to be one of the few times we decline to grab the knight on f6 because we're getting ourselves some space, some wicked good play. Hey, I, we're going to have some fun with this. So let's go ahead. And this, these positions are going to be analogous to the main line with move 294. That's going to be our final video on the Trumpowski in the series. So let's go ahead and look at some of these lines. D6. You know, he just wants to play solidly, slowly. He's not going to have fun doing this, I promise. Knight C3. Oh, you want to hit the B pawn? Take it. Well, we're going to see the themes that we've encountered before. If queen takes b2, bishop d2, followed by rook b1, and you're going to look to play f4, knight f3, e5, to slam the center later. If he doesn't want the pawn, we'll come back anyway. You want to take it? Rook b1. a4. You want to take it? You don't want to take it. f4. We're going to get our, our play. Bishop c4. Now, I ain't, I'm not worried about him taking the pawn at all. Knight f3. And we're going to slam the center pretty soon with e5, and the nasty magic's about to happen. Knight h5, castles. And black really just did nothing. He, he, he like, developed his pieces, but white is the one who's about to have a major breakthrough, and black just kind of sat around. So I love this next part. Queen e1 with the idea of our queen coming over for the attack. The Dutch players got to love it. And if a6, you know... I guess you're doing something, but white's the one having all the fun. The queen also can help with an e5 push. So coming back after our key move d5, knight e4, instead of d6, bishop f4. And this, this is the one that gets trump players. Like, my, my personal experience with the trump, <laughs> like, queen b6. We play bishop c1 to defend the pawn, so they're like, okay. So let me get this straight. You moved your bishop on move two. Yes. You moved your bishop on move four. Yes. You moved your bishop on move five. Yes. So three out of your five moves have been bishop moves, and you undeveloped the sucker back to where he came from. Mm-hmm. Stay with me. I know we're breaking fundamentals here, but the whiplash comes hard and fast and it's going to be painful for him. So let's first look at if g6, because we're going to see this theme over and over. F3, get out. Get out of there. Kick you in the face. So two knight moves. If knight d6, e4, give me all the space. h4. Oh, with the attack. It's all, it's all ready. I love this. You don't have a knight defending you? I'm going to go after you. And this line gets stupid. I'm just, I'm just saying, H5. Reckless abandon, like, dude with a battle axe attacking. Okay, I'm going to attack you. And then I love this next move. And this is all computer recommended. Queen D2. Computer goes, I don't care about development. I don't care about your face. I'm going to mate you. And the engine in turn's like, okay, bet. <laughs> you take with a pawn. Because the idea of queen d2 is to swing the woman over and try to mate the guy. And after c4, queen g2, white already has a big edge. This is just, this, this isn't fun. This isn't fun for black. It is for white, though. That's, that's why I'm recommending it. So coming back, bishop c1, g6, f3. Again, the critical move. Get the fudge out. Knight f6. And now, e4, give us that big center. Knight d2, and here is our old Benoni knight friend coming back, getting the c4 square. Give me that square. Get in your hole. And now, we want to make sure that our wonderful power knight 
is going to be staying there on c4, so we need to secure him with a4. It stops the b5 nonsense. Now we're going to get ourselves some development. Love the knight on g3. He's out of the way, and he's going to be helping. You can even consider going all out with some h4, h5, but personally, I'm a big fan of castles, h3, f4, and we're looking to play e5 in the long term. So you got some ideas here. Now let's go to another variation that covered with g6 on move 5. So what about e6 on move 5? What's the move? F3, get the fudge out. You know it. Knight f6, c4. And some people go, well, isn't this a free pawn? Isn't it, isn't it free? No. No, it's not. If you haven't been paying attention, we are into dynamic play. And after rook b1, lady's not going to be having fun. It's just not. Like, say, for instance, if he takes d5, rook b1, queen a3, knight b5, where's the lady going and stopping knight c7 check winning a rook? These are the ideas you're looking at. So the lady's got to go home. Give me that big center. And now I'm, I'm going to ship gears, and I'm going to... Hit you right in the face. Knight f3, e5. And you're having all the fun with white for the cost of a b-pawn. And black's position's still awkward. Like, greed is bad in the Trumpowski. You can punish it. So do not be afraid of giving up material in order to slap your opponent. Slap him right around. It's fine. It's, it's encouraged in this game. So, coming back after c4, nobody wants the pawn. It's as poison as poison gets. So it takes c4. And I really like this line when I analyze it because it looks like black's having all the fun still. e3. But a pawn analysis here, everything's fine. We give this pawn. Notice the development difference. Both sides have six pawns. Oh, there was that sound. Okay, I love it. So, both sides have six pawns. Both sides ha have, you know, symmetrical pawn structure. White has better development and is ready to go. So he pins the knight. We say, okay, queen b3. And I believe this was, uh, this was new, new sauce here with queen b3, novelty territory. So he's got to play d6, otherwise we will. And now knight e4, the clutch move. This is the move that says you have nothing. takes, and this is not fun. I mean, we get a little bit of a whiplash with a punch back, but black runs out of ideas to attack with, and we're left with this slightly better position, which we can play for the long term. Oh, when the dust settles, all that will be left is metal. You know, you got, you got to throw in references every now and then. Okay, so that covered 2c5, 3, knight, e4. So how about 2c5, 3, queen, b6? To d5, queen, b6 immediately. And again, if d6, we, we just, we love the attacking ideas. We love them. I love it. Love it. Okay, so... Queen b6, bishop d2, e4, f4, and regardless of how he handles this, the pain's going to come. So if e5, rook b1, we've got a perma pass pawn on d5 now. Check. And after queen e2, here comes a key idea, knight h4. If he plays g6, he's just weakening the squares for us to be attacked even harder. Again, for the price of the b-pawn, you got everybody over here on the queen side just ready to smash. I mean, quick king side, rather. So it's just over. F4, e6. Our friend rook b1, bishop b5 check. Mess up the pawn structure. It's an idea we've seen before. Queen g4. Uh, 
And it's just too much fun. Every move is, is just pins and punishment. <laughs> and computer didn't like this one too much, but it's still pull for white. Kingy 2, Rook HB1, you know, play chess. So now after F4, if G6, the main line, E5, here comes the pain. This is what you should really remember, knight of 3 Rook B1, E6. Oh, it's time. Knight G5. This is this is real life. Check. And across all the variations, you see the same theme, just a different move order. So make sure you're paying careful attention to it. Bishop B5 check. D takes C6. And after castle kingside, white is plus two, according to my engine. Having all kinds of fun. Black's king on f8 is wondering why he even became king of his own kingdom here. So that's what I got for you for the uh, two c5 lines of the Trumpowski. And we're, we're just knocking the trump right out. We've only got one major line left, and we're done. So stay with us.